Here's a little demo app that displays a list of colors. And whenever you click on the screen and release, it will randomly choose one of those colors to select the background to and remove it from the list. So you'll notice red is gone from the list. Let's click it again. And we've got blue, green, purple, and orange. It will randomly choose one of those. It chose green and then removed it from the list. I'll keep going. And when I get to the bottom of the list, it'll start over. Right, so the list will come back after all of them have been chosen. There's a little something weird going on with the last one. See how red is left? I think red is going to be placed so fast that you don't even see it before the reset. But that's all right. Uh, that's something to figure out for another day. So how to do this? Uh, the first thing we need is a list of colors. And a list in JavaScript is called an array. So I'm just going to type colors. And over here you need to put square bracket. Quotation marks and then the first color that you want. Now you can do this with numbers, colors, words, anything. Colors is just my example. Am I forgetting any important colors? Yeah. Okay, and then when you get done making your list and you've got quotation marks around everything in the list, commas between them, you need to put another square bracket on the other side. That is an array. Now let's display it on the screen with a text block. Make the text size as big as we'll fit. And we'll put this one in here. And I want it back. Let's put it in the middle of the screen. So maybe 150, 200. 50, 200. And uh, right here, I'm going to take the quotes off and just put colors. Now, colors will include all the names, right? Because that's what the value of colors is. And there they are. They're a bit small. So I think I could fit maybe a 30 font. And I'll scoot it to the left a bit. They almost fit. Anyway, you get the idea. All right. Now, if I just wanted to display one item from the list, I could come in here and put uh, square brackets like that. And then put a number like a 1. And then it would only display the color that's in the one position. In the one position, and these arrays, they count from zero, so that's zero, one. Uh, if I keep counting, two, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So if I put five here, I'll get a loop to pop up. All right, but that's not what I want to do. I actually want to display all of them. Let's put that back the way I had it. Uh, now I want to randomly choose one of them, so I'm going to hold that with a variable, and I'm going to call it index. And I will set that to a random number, between 0, since we start counting at 0, and I forgot 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, between 0 and 5. Okay, so now that I've got one, um, I'm going to set the background. Instead of to white, I'm going to set it to colors, square bracket, index. By that I mean pick a random number from this list of colors. Or pick a random number and then use it to choose from this list of colors and set that to the background. So let's see, I'm going to reset. That time it's red, that time it's orange. So you can tell that it's choosing from the list randomly, right? Okay, so now how are we going to remove that thing? So this is where things get a little tricky. I had to ask around and get a little help. Let's actually switch to text mode for this. Uh, after it's chosen, we are going to take that colors list and we're going to splice. We're going to cut a piece of it out. We're going to start cutting at whatever the index number was. And we're only going to take one piece out of it. Like that. Okay, so if you want to learn more about what this is doing, just look up splice. Whoa, now see that happened very fast. I don't want to do it quite so fast, so instead let's only make these changes happen whenever our mouse... Let's make it respond to the mouse. Let's do mouse one up, that way when we 
click and release. Then we'll set the background color and cut that one out. All right, let's try that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six colors. It's gonna randomly pick one. And just so you can tell which one it picked. It picked position zero, which is red, right? And then it cut red out from the list. So you can see no longer do we have the word red in there. Now let's do it again. Okay, so the index is zero. Oh, look here, the index stayed the same, right? So what we need to do in that case is we need to redo this. So let's copy this guy. After we set the background color and we delete that one, we need to get a new random number. Let's take the var off there, we don't need that. Okay, but now we don't need actually a five because there aren't five items left on the list. Watch this. If we check colors length, see it's it's went down to four because we cut one of the items out of the list with the splice. So instead of saying five there, let's just say colors dot length minus one. We'll do the same here. Colors dot length minus one. The minus one is because we start counting at zero. So there's zero, one, two three, four, five, there are five items, but there's six in the link. Okay, let's try to get we click, fix one, it cuts it off, fix one, cuts it off, and we're basically there, right? So now we've got three, fix one, cuts it off, fix one, cuts it off, and then we're done. Now, if you wanted that list to reappear, uh, then you would just say, If the if colors dot length is less than say one, then we need to redefine colors length with this thing again. So I'll paste this down here. And I'll cut the bar off. Let's try that. So I got a big long list. It's setting the background and changing the color, and when I get to the end, it starts over again. There you go.